Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome for the first time to my channel. Today I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys my cosplay wig collection. I have a lot of them and I thought it'd be really cool to kind of show you guys what I have, what I use them for, what I used them for in the past, what I still use them for. A lot of them I don't even use anymore. Some of them I use for multiple cosplays. Some of them are just destroyed beyond usage and for some reason I've just kept them anyway. So I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys the collection and uh, just kind of go through them. I keep my wigs under my bed just because I live in an apartment where I don't have much room so I can't really keep them all out on wig heads which would be the preferred method so that they don't get squished. So the wig that's on top of the pile is my Winry wig and that's because I used it recently for Beach Winry. I worked at the beach shoot that we did. I did like a beach version of Winry which was really fun and I was really worried because this is the Winry wig that I use all the time so I was like I can't get wet, I can't get sand in it so I was kind of scared but I think it turned out alright. So I store it with the hair inside of it and uh oh, see it's just like I just kind of throw it back in the bag after a beach day so I could drive home. Store the hair in it and then I keep this in it just to keep its shape. So as you can see it is a mess. It's got like this giant rat's nest down here that needs to be brushed out. And it does also have its like original little tie up here. I have retied the ponytail to make it tighter. Um, I really do like this wig. It's from Epic Cosplay Wigs, I think, but um, it is really heavy, so it like slides off my head during the day no matter how many pins I put on it. So I'm probably gonna have to start like gluing it or taping it to my head. So this is the wig that I use for Anna, but not for like Coronation Anna. That's a different wig actually. I use this one for, I used it for like my Frozen Fever on a Disney Bound. I use this one for Steampunk Anna from Renfest. So like not regular Anna's, but like variations. It's a lot longer than Anna's hair, but I kind of like, it works for both of those things. So it's like, oh, why cut it when like, it works for like doing like a 70s Anna or like doing like a Renaissance Anna. So I kind of kept it for that. And then I did add like a little white stripe in it for when I did the Renaissance version. Um, I also did originally use this wig for Tyga. I did that years and years and years ago and I don't really do it anymore. I did have plans to bring her back at one point, but then I didn't and now I use this wig for Anna. So good thing I didn't uh, restyle it to have Tyga's crazy hair. I don't even know what this was for. I think this was one of my original Krista wigs. I've actually been through like I think maybe like five creased away at this point. I could just never find the right color. So I was always buying them just being like wearing them once and being like, this isn't the right color, this isn't the right style. Next, next. And then I would like save them. So this is the wig that I currently use for Anna Coronation. I know that her hair is all in a bun, but I'm not good enough at styling wigs. I thought I was. I was like, oh, I'll just buy one and style it myself. And it did not go well. So this was kind of my compromise was to kind of just put this part in a bun. And then I added like a little clip up here, which doesn't really show up in photos, but I think it's super cute, a little hair, like golden flower hair clip. And then I added the white stripe here and I added the braid going across it. And I just kind of kept it long and curly. So that's this one. Eventually I will get a proper on a coronation wig, but they're expensive. <laughs> and so right now I'm just using this one. And then eventually I get one. So this wig, very long blonde one. This one I'm, I'm using right now for Umaru, but it's not the right color, so I need to get a new one. I think that this one would be really cool as like if I styled it into like an Alice wig from like Alice in Wonderland or something, I think that would be a much better use of it. So this is the wig that I wear right now for Stitch. It's kind of like an icy blue long curly wig. And I really like this one. It actually has some clips that came with it. They're like still in their packaging and they put little like pigtails up here which is really cute and I would love to wear it with a pigtail someday but because my stitch dress has like a hood it doesn't really make sense to wear the pigtails because you can't really see them but if I ever find another use for it with the pigtails they're super cute and I really want to wear them so I do wear this wig quite a bit because I do wear stitch quite a bit this wig is kept a little differently it's kept in an Ulta bag rather than in the one of the plastic bags and the reason for that is that it's much bigger than all the rest of them um, and that's because this is my old lady toff wig. I don't even know how this goes. Where's the end? Where's the, how does this even work? I'm just like playing with it. Like, I don't know how, oh, okay, here we go. So this is it. So it goes like this and then it has the giant bun right here on top. And this is filled with um, 
newspaper like you know those like free ads that like Rite Aid just like puts in your mailbox and you just throw away or maybe use them I don't know but that's what this is filled with which is why it kind of crinkles this was actually two wigs um, sewn together so it's like the base wig and then I got another wig and filled it with stuffing and sewed it to the top and then it has a little headband here that goes on top and old lady tough I love being old lady tough so much I think I'm gonna do it again I did it for AX last year I'd love to do old lady tough again but spend more time on my old lady makeup because I was a little bit rushed for AX because um, I slept in a bit so it wasn't quite what I wanted it to be so maybe if I did it again, I'd have more time and I'd be able to really go more all out with the old ladiness. Get off my lawn! But seriously, get off my lawn. This wig is, again, one that I've never worn before. It's from Rockstar Wigs. Um, and this was originally gonna be for Lucy from uh, Elf and Lead, which I did for Fanime last year. And that was the most uncomfortable cosplay I've ever worn. I would do it again for like a studio shoot, but I would never ever wear that for a con again because I could not move. I basically just wrapped myself in bandages and I had like fake blood on me that like dried and so it like was painful to move because it had like dry like, fake blood. I would never wear that to a con again. I'm still saving this one. There's plenty of pink haired anime girls so I'm sure that I'll find a use for it soon. So this is actually my Wednesday Adams wig. I know it's not braided. I actually uh, braid it every time while it's on me and then I unbraid it to store it and I actually have black hair so sometimes I use my own hair for Wednesday Adams, but sometimes my hair is just so messy that I'm just like, I can't even style this. I just need to, I just need to wear a wig instead. So that's when I wear this one. This is my current Pidge wig. I need a new one. This one is from Amazon. I got it because I didn't think I'd have time to make a Pidge cosplay um, for a group cosplay that I was going to be in a Voltron. And then I decided last minute I was going to do it. So I just kind of ordered whatever I could on Prime to get there within the next two days. And this is the wig I could find. So Eventually I'm gonna get a way nicer one because I plan on cosplaying Pidge a lot more. So in the meantime, this is it. I just store this one because it's short, so I store this one inside out. I know a lot of people store all their wigs inside out, but I don't because to me, I think they get more tangled. Uh, but because this one's short, it's not gonna get tangled anyway, so I can just store it inside out and not have to worry about it. I'm just throwing them all to the side after I'm done. What is this one? Oh, okay, so this is another Krista wig. Um, this one's probably pretty close to the color that I need. Um, so maybe I'll bring this one back. But yeah, this is just another Krista wig that I went through because as I said, I've been through so many of them. I can't believe how many blonde, like just blonde wigs I have. It's kind of ridiculous. This is my Maka wig. I used to have a different Maka wig and I sold it because I didn't think I'd ever cosplay Maka again. And then I was like, wait, I want to cosplay Maka again. So. This is the new one that I got, um, and I quite like it. It's not exactly Maka, but Maka's hair kind of is impossible because it's like so thin and the way the ponytails go. So this is one of the first cosplay wigs I ever did from one of the first cosplays that I did, which was um, Kirigiri from Danganronpa. I almost forgot her name. I actually don't like Danganronpa. Sorry if you really like that game or show, but I just didn't. But I did it as with a group, so that was fun, and it was one of the first ones I ever did. Um, I do keep this one braided. It's very, very fine hair. I got this one from Amazon and it gets tangled like ridiculously easy. You know, no matter what I've sprayed it with, you know, I've tried, you know, wig sprays, waxes, and it just gets tangled. So keep, I keep it in a braid. I thought maybe I'll repurpose it for something. Um, the bangs are super messed up because I had never styled a wig before when I wore it. Um, so I kind of just like went like, and they're like, they're messed up. They're like uneven. There's like, like side bangs on one side but not on the other so I, I don't know I'd have to figure out something to do with it but I don't think I could use it again nor do I really plan on cosplaying Kirigiri again I actually have a picture of the first time I wore it um if I have it I'll put it up but um the braid's on the wrong side whoops so I'm just putting this one away um what's really funny I just remembered the story when I first got this one um I was living in a dorm in college and I accidentally sent it to my home address in, in Maryland. And my mom texted me, she's like, Daniela, this bag of hair came in the mail for you. And I was like, a bag of hair? What? And then I was like thinking like, oh my God, I didn't read the you know Amazon description too well. Do I have to assemble it myself? But no, it was the wig. My mom just like wrote bag of hair, which I guess is kind of accurate. Uh, so I just thought that was really funny. This one is in a really long bag. I actually think it was originally like a really long wig and I cut it so that might be why. If that's not if that's not the reason then I have no idea why it's 
Oh, so this is my E.T. wig from, oh no, I lost a little bun cover. Whoops. Okay, well, you can see kind of what the bun covers are on this side. This one's kind of messed up too, but this is my Iki wig from Legend of Korra. I think I'm gonna switch from doing Iki to doing Opal. Yeah, this one was on another one of the first wigs that I got. Tragic. Whatever. These bangs are clip-on to like kind of style them to be like her weird bangs, and I don't think they really flatter my face too well either. So that's another reason why I don't really wear this one too much. I have Iki with, like, with the long hair and with the flight suit, and I originally wanted it to like magnet open and stuff, but at the time I didn't really know how to do stuff. I also didn't have a sewing machine even at the time, so that cosplay is made without the aid of a sewing machine. It's basically glue gun and modified morph suit. <laughs> Oh, one thing about my Iki wig though is that's actually one of the very first ones I wore here in LA to a meetup because when I first moved here to LA I didn't really know many people and I wanted to get more involved with the cosplay community so I saw that there was like a Griffith Park meetup um, on Facebook and I was like, friends! And I was like, I need to wear a cosplay! What cosplays do I have? And I only had like one at the time with me and it was the Iki one so I was like, okay, I guess I'll wear that. And another blonde wig that I don't know what it's from. Too many of those. This is, is this short? Or is it just, oh, I know what this is. Okay, this is my Nui Harime wig. It's actually, it's short and then it has a uh, like pigtail like clip attachments that go on it to give her those uh, big ponytails. I'm actually gonna remake it to make the ponytails even larger because they're just insane in the anime and I think it'd be so much fun to have those. I know they're gonna be really heavy, but I don't know, it would just be fun. So this is kind of what it looks like when I store it. I sewed in these wefts. Um, so that's why there's like these long parts and they have to be recurled because clearly they're not even curly at all right now. Oh, you know what this is? This is my Azula wig from when I did like, when Azula, spoiler alert for the end of Avatar The Last Airbender, but when she starts to lose her mind a bit and unravel. And so she's, you know, fighting Zuko and she's got like that ponytail that's like falling down and her hair is like all cut up. So I really wanted to do an Azula with the bangs just like and so that's what I did. So I actually wore this version to me, Grey Griffin, the voice actress for Azula, but I also met uh, two of the cast members of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. wearing it and they were all like, what? And I was like, what? Sorry, my phone just died, so if something changed, the framing's a little different or something, I just had to go plug it in. Um, but it should be all better now, it's plugged in and it's charging as I film, so crisis averted. Um, back to the wig collection. <laughs> so I really do like this one. I wear this wig for Captain America, actually. It's just like short and curly and I have like a vintage, like red, white, and blue dress that I just thought would be really fun to do like a vintage Captain America with. This is my Hermione Granger wig. I've worn it once. So here is the wig that I destroyed at the beach last year. It feels terrible, gross, tangled, scraggly, yuck. This might be the worst wig in my entire collection. This is the wig I wore for Dapper Day. Not like this past Dapper Day, but the one way before that. And I did Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And that was another really last minute one. So I just kind of grabbed whatever I could from Amazon because I needed it to come, you know, in the next two days. So I got this one. Probably never going to wear this again. This is the wig I did wind up using for my Lucy cosplay from Fanime. As you can see, it's much longer. So here's a wig I actually haven't worn yet. Um, this is a lace front one, and I bought it for Ginny because I have been planning on cosplaying Ginny Weasley, but I think it might be a bit too orange. I think I want something a bit redder, but I still have some other ideas for what I can do with this. So I'm definitely still gonna like, keep it and stuff, plus uh, I can't return it at this point. I'm sure it's been too long. It's very soft, just one arc. Here's a long pink wig. I think I just bought this for fun. I don't think I really wear it for anything. Here is a really long curly black wig. I don't know what this is from, what it's for, but here it is. We're getting to like the bottom of the collection now where it's just like a bunch of wigs where I'm just like, I have no idea what this is. This is another one of my most worn wigs, which is why it's such a mess and it definitely needs to be brushed out and stuff, but this is my current Historia Crista wig and this is actually, it. I like this one because it is actually peach colored, but it photographs much more blonde. And so I think it like goes with my skin tone better, but then it photographs to look more like her hair color. So that's why this one's my favorite one. You know, it needs to be brushed out. And I think I'm gonna order the longer version of this one for Umaru for a new wig because her hair is a bit more of like a peachy blonde as well, but it's a lot longer than this. So I can't use this one for both. 
This is my Envy wig. I love this wig because um, you can't actually see like on camera, but it's like a bunch of different like shades of green. It's like light green, dark green. It's actually got some black in it. So it's just like really pretty. And when I got this wig, I loved it so much that I couldn't bring myself to turn it into like the dreadlocks that uh, Envy has. I'm talking about Envy from Full Metal Alchemist. So yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to, to turn it into the Envy wig. So I just keep it kind of unstyled. And it's also lace front, but I haven't really cut much of the lace off because Envy has like a headband that covers it anyway. So I was like, what's even the point of going through that effort? <laughs> um, so that's this one. I do really love this wig. Maybe I'll wear Envy again soon. Or maybe I'll find something else to do with this wig. I don't know. Any ideas? If you guys have ideas for like what I could do with some of the wigs, comment them because I definitely like to reuse them so they don't have to like keep buying new wigs. So yeah, any ideas? Let me know, but that's this one. This is my Anna wig from Royal Enchantments, and um, this is the only one that gets to be on a wig head. It doesn't get kept in a bag, um, and I'm really excited. I haven't worn this one yet, but it's really, really beautiful, and I really can't wait to. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to do another version of Anna that actually has these braids so that I'll be able to wear it. So the only wig I'm not gonna show you guys is my Toff wig because it's destroyed and also I don't really know where it is. Somewhere in my room, I think it might be under my bed, but yeah, I'm just not gonna show it because it's a mess and I'm gonna make a new one anyway so that I can keep cosplaying Toff. So that was my wig collection. Uh, now I gotta clean this up, but thanks so much for watching. And if you have any ideas for cosplays that I can do with some of the wigs that I showed you, please comment them down below or comment what you thought about this video, ideas for future videos, just to say hi. Subscribe if you haven't already. I really, really, really appreciate it. Give this video a like. Let me know that you saw it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had so much fun filming this. I cannot believe how many wigs I have. So I definitely may, might need to do like a declutter or something in the future. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.